Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laliko. How do you get a work visa for Kuwait from New Zealand? I have no idea. So I'm going to share my experience. It's a mystery and I have really struggled to find anything online. So I'm sitting at home at Anne's house and I have no idea what to do. You can see when you Google Kuwait Embassy in New Zealand, I just end up at the New Zealand Foreign Affairs page, which is not helpful. <laughs> And there seems to be no website. So I've asked the administration person that I'm communicating with in Kuwait, like, well, what do I do? Um, I've been in contact with this new role. And basically, at this point, all I've done is I've sent off my CV, copy of my passport, copy of my degree. And in the post last week, I received this entry visa piece of paper. And that's the thing. I have no idea what to do next. What do I do with this? All right, I'm going to call right now <laughs> and hopefully I will get some kind of an answer. You've seen my other videos of what I've been doing since I've been back in New Zealand. Mostly just a lot of chilling, but please make sure you check them out. I don't even know what to ask though. Hello? I have an entry visa, piece A4 piece of paper. Can you help me? <laughs> I feel quite stupid doing this, but... So that was an utter failure. An embassy that does not answer their phone. Okay, plan B. I'm going to send them an email. Why I wanted to make this video because there's no way I'm the first and there's no way I'll be the last that has a seemingly useless administration person <laughs> that they're dealing with that doesn't know what to do next because I don't know what to do next and I guess when I've done other work visas before yeah sort of guided through the process I guess this is definitely the first time where it's like well figure it out because usually there's a website to the embassy I mean it's 1 30 in the afternoon if they need anything from me I need to know what it is and I received this email and they sent me this document which normally you would find on a website yeah but no instead so this is why I'm making this video because this is ridiculous that you have to email them and it takes them you know days to answer the phone for the, you to get the email so, so step two that's where I, that's what I could have done myself had I have known this earlier so obviously this takes 20 days get your degree done now remember you need for it to be authenticated you need for it to be notarized and here at the same because they need to authenticate this this also needs to be notarized too okay so i've been to the doctor got my referral for my blood test and i'm just heading along to have my blood test for the visa <sighs> i'm trying a new one this didn't exist before it's here on langdon's road it's handy right by the mall parking's a bit of a pain though just been up to the notarizing place so there are very few notary people in Christchurch and so I potentially for other New Zealanders that are watching this you might have to travel if you don't live in a major city to find somebody that has the magical stamp. Now it's two days later because there is a lot of incompetence going on. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I really, I guess this is one of these things that I feel like you don't know it until you go through it. So basically the problem is that the my medical report that I had to go and pick up from my GP, the, uh, the 
notarizing guy is like, well, who's this? <laughs> is this his signature? Is this real? <laughs> Which is okay. Great question. But in regard to being able to say, yes, it is. The language that he chose to use was not clear and as a result now it's two days later and nothing's been done. So because I've been on the case <laughs> and on it and on it and on it, it only became clear once I asked what are the exact words that you need? <laughs> Which really seems like the dumbest thing, right? And I think it's it just makes me laugh at the end of the day because I prefer non-English speaking countries, I get on much better and it's driving me absolutely crazy that it's not clear. The language that he chooses, to, because, he, because he was very good and sent uh, fax, I don't really know who sends faxes these days, yeah saying this needs to be certified as genuine and nobody at the other end, even though it's a medical center and there are doctors who have studied for a long time, that choice of language was not clear. So, anyway, so I have physically taken back my own results that I have got from the medical center, gone back to the medical center and gone, anybody that works here, can you please sign that this is this doctor's signature? So it just would have been much simpler and I guess that's where this is the learning part. Like so you need somebody to verify that that is somebody's signature. So you just need a double signature before you leave your doctor the first time. I'm just so angry with the system. This is my first time doing a medical report that needed to be notarized so I myself have no experience with this. It's weird. It's very weird. I'm very fortunate and <laughs> times like this when you just want to go and scream as <sighs> I'm so lucky that I live in the city and that this notary is close enough to home that I can just jump in the car and that my medical center is not that much further up the same road and I can just pop up and get this nonsense because I'm sorry I get really bored with administrative things it's really boring for me this, this is just one step because of course I still have to send this off to Wellington for them to authenticate that the notary has then authenticated it so and then send it off to the embassy so a hey, success I have got my documents notarized that literally took an hour and a half of my life that I'm not getting back and now I'm trying to bust it to the post office <laughs> before it closes at half past five. Am I going to make it? I'm now going to send them off to the authentication people up in Wellington. It says up to seven days for it to be for it to be authenticated and then plus postage. I do say very explicitly on the website that there's no urgent service. So do bear that in mind and when administration people from wherever you're, well in this case Kuwait, um, are hassling you saying, oh we want to book your ticket or something, when like this all takes time unfortunately. Keep your receipts, I just got one for the notarizing, which was $80. <sighs> uh, $80 for like an hour and a half of my life, freaking here. Alright, to the post office, let's get this in the post. So, I've missed the courier for today. <laughs> I've just been into the post office to pick up, <laughs> to pay for my postage to the authentication unit. <laughs> Bless their little hearts, so it's after 5 o'clock, that's why. So, they've said to me to go to like the main to drive and take my parcel to the main courier hub which is just near here thankfully thankfully I live in this part of the city I mean there's so many parts of this that I need to be grateful for because otherwise it just wouldn't work so it took six six days in total so we paired this envelope so it's ready to go tomorrow listing all of these things so everything now is inside so I just had my uncle come around and write a personal check now I am not from the check generation so I don't really know what the difference is so it costs hundred and fifty dollars and fifty cents they're very behind the times uh, I mean this is very strange <laughs> as to why 
you need a bank check done. And then they're charging you the bank fee as well. So this is the blue bit of paper that you get from your employer. This needs to be authenticated, this needs to be authenticated, and this needs to be authenticated. Please make sure you've enclosed everything before sending us your application. Send it where? What's the address? I mean, because I'm sending my passport and a bank check, I would like to like have this couriered, but said document does not, <laughs> does not give me an address. <laughs> so, it's a bit haphazard. Uh, it's taken them three days to send this, this information to me. So, I hope that I'm helping you, but in addition to these emails, I have also called and they have chosen not to answer their phone uh, during work hours. Woohoo! This is my self-addressed envelope coming back from the Kuwait Embassy. Finally! Yippee! It's worked out despite how many steps there have been to get to this point in time. So be patient, be patient when it is your turn to do this. Make sure you take that blue slip with you to Kuwait as well. You will need that at the airport when you arrive. And that your work will need it as well. But you are ready. 